March the 1st, the European Space Agency's new global environment monitoring satellite, Envisat, was successfully put into orbit by the Ariane 5 rocket. Its mission? To provide data that will support many different types of Earth science research, encompassing land, sea, the ice caps and the atmosphere. Effective monitoring of the processes leading to environmental and climatic change. Envisat is the culmination of over 10 years research and development by ESA in partnership with 120 European and Canadian companies and institutes. Scientists have already utilised the data collected from ESA's highly successful ERS-1 and 2 satellites, currently at the end of their lifespans. Now, Envisat's ambitious and innovative payload, 10 state-of-the-art Earth monitoring instruments will provide both continuity and evolution in the quest for more knowledge of our planet's biosphere. Weighing in at over 8,000 kilos, it's one of the largest satellites ever built. And prior to launch, it went through extensive structural, engineering and flight modelling tests. In May 2001, Envisat began its long journey from test bay at Estec to the launch base in South America transported in two massive containers. The payload and service modules were loaded onto one of the world's largest aircraft at Amsterdam's Schiphol Airport. Arriving 24 hours later at their destination, Kourou, Europe's spaceport in French Guiana. It followed the 400 tonnes of ground support equipment and spares that had been arriving steadily in the preceding two months. Pre-flight assembly and testing continued for several further months. Finally, with weather conditions favourable and the launch time confirmed, Envisat, now cocooned in the Ariane 5 payload fairing, began rollout towards the launch pad. For the scientists tasked with putting Envisat into space, it was a dream about to become reality. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, top. À l'image du Vulcan. Within three minutes of liftoff, the giant boosters, performing their roles superbly, separate. Within the next minute, the fairing protecting the satellite from atmospheric friction is jettisoned. Envisat is now travelling at more than 10,000 kilometres per hour. Within 10 minutes of liftoff, the cryogenic main stage separation and the minutes that follow herald the most exciting moments of the launch vehicle's mission. 27 minutes from launch, and with separation from the upper stage a complete success, Envisat is released into near perfect orbit. Bravo, the satellite. This is the most sophisticated, innovative, laboratory ever put in space to study the Earth and to monitor the environment. But Envisat is not just for science. I would like to think of Envisat as our cornerstone for the Living Planet program of ESA, in which our intention is to serve the citizen. Time for ESA's operation center, ESOC, to take control of the spacecraft. One hour into the launch, and Envisat's solar array, the powerhouse of its operational capability, is deployed. And within the first four hours, the satellite, now ready to orient itself into Earth-pointing position, is fully operational. But the journey has only just started. For the European Space Agency and the scientific community, Envisat is the successful culmination of a decade of research and development. For the Earth, Envisat is a sentinel, keeping watch over our world, 
helping to make it a better place for future generations.